Okay, so in this part three of uh, automatic test case generation video, I am going to demonstrate to you how to install new SME on a Windows 10 machine. Okay, so you just uh, Google in your favorite browser that you want to download new SME. Just write the keyword new SME and you will get to this page. Here you can see these <coughs> different types of uh, Installations available for Windows 64-bit machine, for Windows 32-bit machine, and so on. So you can also have with or without that chap, which is a kind of a, <coughs> I mean, constraint solver, which is uh, run by New SMV at the back end. So I basically downloaded this version 2.5.4. So I, since I already have the installer, so I am not going to repeat this step, but uh, depending upon your operating system you can uh, download a binary version or zip version and install it on your uh, machines i will demonstrate here uh, how to do this uh, for a windows 10 machine so after you have the binary then you just need to get into that directory you just right click on this one and run as administrator once you do that you just need to click yes and it will start installing and if you don't do uh, run as administrator, you, you may uh, see an error uh, and the operation will be aborted. So you just make sure that you right click and <coughs> run it as an administrator. So since I have already installed this, I am not going to repeat the step, but I will just uh, demonstrate to you the next step. So once it is installed, you will see this uh, in your program files. You go there. Here you will find a folder named new SMB 2.5.4 and bin. You just copy this <coughs> and then you click on uh, this PC properties, uh, select advanced system settings, then go to environment variables, then this choose this system wide variables, select path, and then <coughs> edit here you can uh, select new and just paste this thing here <coughs> which you copied there and then you will see since I have already uh, given this path up uh, somewhere here this one so and I cannot uh, copy this but once you do this then you can just finish this process ok this and now you, you will be able to just open uh, in fact you can open the command prompt but you can check new SME installation here by just typing new SME and hit enter and you will see a screen like this which means that uh, your new SMV has been installed successfully and uh, uh, <coughs> it's running properly so you can just cut out of this and that's it thank you